What is going on guys? Welcome back. You guys can't even see me. Point is on today's install we are installing yet another Vision One racing product. And what this product is, let me get it out of the packaging, is this right here. These small little springs. And what those springs do is basically so what these basically do is these are going to replace so in the transmission there are like I said four springs that when you select a gear it gives you basically that response back what this is gonna do is increase that by 70% and give you a better re uh, response when you you know when you put it into gear so when you put it into gear with these new springs it, you're gonna know for a fact that you put it into gear so you're gonna know for a fact you put it into first gear second third fourth and fifth now the, it's pretty much a basic install it's gonna take at least maybe 30 minutes or no more than 30 minutes to do this all you gotta do is take um it's a 14 millimeter screw for each one and they're all located on top of the transmission so once you've taken those off you take the spring out you put the new one in and you retighten the bolt and it's, that's pretty much it and vision uh, vision one does add instructions that come with the kit but if you guys are more of a visual learner and want to see a video of how to do it then this is the channel to watch we're going to be installing them right now and I'll show you guys um, so in the package right in the back it states which one is for which so that's why on the picture it tells you which bow is for which so I'm gonna be showing you guys that right now and then getting the new springs on and then uh, basically seeing how it feels so let's check out how it feels right now right now mine's mine you can hear it click into gear like right there first gear is definitely a little bit too soft for, for my liking second gear as well so let's see how how it feels with the new springs on so the first bolt we're going to be taking out is the one that's located so you have your gear selector right here and there is a bolt that is right across from it and it's located right there you guys can see it it's right there that one the one where my fingers above so it's basically your gear selector and then it's right be behind these wires and all the bolts that you're going to be taking out are 14 millimeters so that's what you, the only two you're going to want to use so that's what i have right here put a shallow socket and we're going to take that one out and then i'll show you guys how it looks when you take it out so once you've taken out the 14 millimeter um bolt it's going to be this right here uh, i'm going to be using a little flathead to take out the spring so all I am doing is sticking my hand back here uh, you can see. You can see the, the hole right there so then get the spring out and now I have the spring of the hole and basically this is the old spring right here so now we're going to be replacing it and in the instructions it says that it's a 5-6 so we're going to be taking out number 5-6 and inserting that one into the hole and put the 14 millimeter bolt back in. So now we got the, uh, the spring in there with the bolt back on. Now uh, underneath the spring is a little ball basically and you don't want to lose that so if it comes out with your spring don't lose it just put it back in with the new spring. Uh, so now the next one we're going to be taking off is this one right here and that one is right in front of the 5.6 so if it's right so if the 5.6 is right here we go straight forward it's going to be this one right here which I hope you guys can see it so now we got that one out and it's the small one so now like I said you just go to your pack and you see which one is the one that says rev and then you take that one out put it in put the bolt back in all right got it back on so now we just have two more to go now these two are sideways because basically this picture of the transmission is supposed to be like that so those two are going to be located right behind the what right next to the shifter selector so those are going to be a little bit tougher to get so you're definitely going to want to need a shallow socket and a wrench 
or you could just use well yeah or you could use a wrench or you could use a ratchet with a shallow socket so let me get those two out and then show you guys um, the difficulty if it was difficult if it was not difficult so I already got the bottom two uh, on already all four of them are out now um, in order to access the two bottom ones don't go through the top uh, there is an easier way just take off your wheel and you're going to come down here let me turn on the light for you guys you're gonna come down here and they're gonna be literally right down here so here is one of them and here's the second one so these two are gonna come out and the springs are right there I already replaced both, uh, all four of them so let's see how it feels I hopefully hopefully it feels really good especially since we also have the vision one racing um, shifter spring so who yo it's tight like I'm talking about like now I know for a fact that's first gear yo this feels amazing man with the with the short shifter these uh, solid uh, bushings and the vision one racing springs and now with these HD um, springs as well wow it's never a fail with uh, Vision One Racing. Peter definitely knows what he's doing. So if you guys want a set of these springs or the or the uh, short shifter spring, uh, not the short shifter springs, the uh, gear um, selector springs, definitely go check his website out at Vision One Racing. I believe he's uh, almost done with the sale. I think he ended it on Monday. But definitely go purchase it. It's, it's never it's never a bad upgrade. Even if your car's NA like mine. It's definitely a good upgrade. I definitely recommend it for you guys, and it's an easy install. Uh, if you guys want to install the um, the other uh, the shifter springs, definitely go check our other video. And thank you so much for watching. If you do, if you guys do like the video, go and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. What, David? Oh, David's over here doing some other stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.